And uh, one more. But first, darn it, didn't want this running over two hours, and of course it's gonna run over two hours. But yeah, whatever. Not ending it now. I think I'm basically done, aren't I? But first, I want to see something. Legitimately, I had like 30 out of 4... Okay, so I'm missing 9. Not too bad. Oops, wrong button! Wait a minute. It's saying I have some. And, you know, I could have probably done this. So, missing three there, one there, none there. None there, okay cool, I'm just gonna leave. Time to face, oh, uh, what's her face? The Enchantress. But of course, there won't, it won't be that easy. There has to be a level attached, doesn't it? Doesn't there? Come on, please don't let... Oh, yeah, I remember this crap. Oh. This one. Crap. I remember what it does. It aims towards you, so... Oh, crap. That was close. Oh, come on! Instant death is such a stupid thing! Such a stupid thing! Okay, that was literally like the last stuff. Okay. And if I remember this room... Yeah, this is all about... Ooh, the platforms ap appear before you! All magical and such. This room is... One tap! And dead. Now I have to go through that. Uh, now I have to go through this stupid room again. Because I tapped one too many times. Okay, so. Just kind of keep holding right because it can in this free fall. You literally land right where you need to to jump. Awesome. Now, don't tap one too many times. Ooh, I was about there. That was... This is just complete, like... It's mean! It's not even like... Ooh! This is not even difficult, like... Platforming, it's just like... <clears throat> make a leap of faith, and then maneuver yourself to the platform. And I just... I don't trust the game, though, that's the problem. Okay, so now I don't have to do the first room again. And here we go. <clears throat> yeah, really? Really think that she's not under that much of control that yelling her name's gonna change anything? Uh, 
Oh. Blade? You must not know who I am. My name is Shovel Knight, and I only use shovels. Okay. Bounce! Uh, crap. Now the good thing is she remakes platforms. Bad thing is they're still instant death platforms. And she can destroy the platforms by attacking down. Which she likes doing. And then she acts like a freaking idiot for a couple seconds. Dashing around the room, and now I can't really get to her. Oh, and this is the this is the time that can make or break a run of this fight, because she just doesn't make the platforms back for you fast enough. Can I attack? Uh, crap. Standing in the fire. That's not good. I could be trying to do that. Because technically you can hit these back too. But it seems like they're bigger. It's bigger pain than what it's worth. You kind of have to manipulate. Could you please give me a decent amount of platforms back? Uh, this is not a fun final boss. This is literally my least favorite. Probably one of my least favorite final bosses I've ever fought. Main reason? Instant death! Hurry up, I don't care about your stupid- Ooh, look at me float down. I'm so magical, I can fly. Really wanna- There we go. Come on now. You want to destroy platforms? Start over here. Now give me my platforms back, right here. Cause I get, gained a decent amount back. I didn't g gain as many as I could have there, but This fight is literally all about balancing how many platforms you lose with how many platforms you get back. Ooh. Come on. I hate this fight. So much, so much. Second form, the next form is not even that hard. Just this form is a pain. There it is. There we go, got an achievement for freaking Reflect Lord. The Lord of Reflecting Fireballs back. Come on. Let's... Not cr ooh, ooh, ooh. Luckily it was only one platform and I don't think he can fall through one platform. Oh cool, you're gonna give me more back. I got everything but one! Come on. It's stupid of me to... 
destroy some of my own platforms. Eh. And I gained pretty much. I have pretty much all the platforms. Ooh, no, you don't. You're not killing me through instant death means right now. I gain basically all the platforms back, and what sucks especially is, yeah, it's instant death to fall down the pit, but you fall down the pit at the end of the fight anyway, because that's where the next form ends up starting at. Oh look, the dream! Oh, isn't it sweet? Ah, but... Okay. Yeah, um, I could just gain everything back. Oh, look, my money's down here. I'm trying to stay, hey, I'm trying to stay close to you, but you're in, you're, you don't get hurt by the magic balls, I end up getting hurt by the magic balls, so. Either, you know, protect me from those, Just bounce. God, I was. I just did it right. Darn it. Thought I was going to be able to kind of cheat the system a little bit. Nope. Okay, cool. More instant death pits. Quit taking away my platforms, you jerk! And get over here to where I can actually hurt you. There we go. Keep going. There we go. Okay. No! I jumped! Oh, please don't tell me. No, I don't think I have to do the first form of it. Thank you! But what sucks is I jumped. I swear I did. Come on! Nope, okay, that's what I figured. Doesn't mean this doesn't work. Three! Oh, I didn't... Ah. Come on. Nope, figured as much. This angry, angry, angry deity like magic thing is not very, not very nice to me. But I don't care. I have phase lock it. Oh, you. Okay. No, nope, can't do it. Phase lock it. Phase lock it. Spam the phase lock it. Don't care. Okay. <laughs> Choose shield knight. Ah. Oh, come on. I just bounced right into... Bounce, bounce. Come on. Urgh. Okay, so... I'm gonna do this. Uh, Gleese platforms come back. It's like the only saving grace, and at least she can survive freaking death. Come on. Come on. Bounce up. Mm.
Gonna brought another Icor, but I didn't think I was gonna have that big of a, this much of a trouble. Because I never remember the freaking <sighs> I don't ever remember falling in the pits nearly this much. Missed. Wow, this has ran really well. I say that, I get hit by a freaking ball and die because of knockback. I am so freaking happy right now. Uh, okay, first off, Shield Knight, you're not doing, you're not doing your namesake in, you know, Shield. Come on. The huge freaking shield and a small one on the other side. Why can't you block these freaking projectiles? Ah, I missed. No, your shield is basically used to just be another platform for me. No. Come on. Ah. Over here. Yeah, you didn't help me. I could have gotten a decent amount of hits there. Shield! How about, you know, that thing that's on your arm that's big and round that can protect people? Hmm. I wonder what that's for. I literally dodged out while while looking at my sub, like, menu. I was no place to protect myself. Let's just... I had... I basically... Come on. Yeah, you're in the greatest of places for me. Greatest of places! Don't remember this fight being that hard, but no! Apparently this is the most difficult form of this boss. Okay, so, a couple reasons why this final boss sucks. The first form is basically instant death. Dodge the instant death. This form is dodge the instant death too, but you're also dodging the attacks, but you're also relying on a computer to be able to attack at all. And she does the stupid things, like let's go through the attack. Let's go through the freaking magic. To get to the other side instead of, you know, staying on the same side with me. Why is it that we have to follow Shield Knight? Why can't Shield Knight follow us? I ask a logical question. And you're on the other side! I can't do anything while you're on that side. Oh. Ah. Jump up. Seriously. Come. Finally. Beat Shield Knight over the head. I know that sounds terrible. But, well, that's great.
Yay! But seriously, instant death in any boss fight is stupid. Let me just get that absolutely clear. And here we have Castlevania-esque destruction of said castle. Or Ninja Gaiden, that's another one. Okay, so back to what I'm saying. Instant death in boss fights is absolutely stupid. You wanna know why? It takes out challenge. It, it doesn't add any challenge in all reality. Oh, the platforms are not under you, so you fall through and die. It can rob you from success, like, right away. Like, you can have... There's one, like, life left. The boss has one life, one piece of life left, and you can hit it. If this happened to me, like, three times, by the way. And you can get knocked into a pit and die, and thanks to that, you know, you have to go through the whole freaking fight again. Where I literally just won the fight. Except for the last, the very, very last second. Nope! There's a pit, fall in it, die. Have a nice day! And then, the final fight, you have to basically deal with... You know, not just bottomless pits, not just pretty difficult and annoying attacks to dodge, which you probably could, I'm assuming. But... Ninja Run! Oh, look at all those samurai, but they don't care. Yeah, those samurai are dead. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So. Mm. I'm just so tired. So annoyed. So very, very, very ticked off. But. Back to what I was saying. I don't even know what I was saying. And it's how much I've just... <sighs> Last boss, you have pretty hard attacks to dodge. Then you have bottomless pits. And you have an AI partner who doesn't do what you want her to. She'll go to the... The freaking... And the boss will drop down, take away one of your platforms... And what will Shovel and what will Shield Knight do? Go through the boss to the other side where you can't get to easily, and then go straight up. And be, and then you lose your chance to attack. So Shield Knight should have followed us. And whenever we wanted to, she should have jumped up and tried to allow us to attack. Making bosses to where you can't attack them at any time, make it to where you can only attack at these certain times, doesn't make the boss harder. It just makes it more tedious. This game is a great game, all the way up to the final boss. Because everything before the final boss, well, not every death, but I'd say 90% of my deaths, 90 to 80 percent of my deaths are my own stupidity making well not making me do something but my own stupidity causing me to do something and ends up getting me dead where the final boss that's not the case it's all oh look you tried to dodge this attack but got hit by this attack and it bounced you into a bottom of this pit oh you tried to dodge that attack, got hit by this one, bounce a bottomless pit. 
Oh, you didn't dodge that attack, bottomless pit. See the, uh, see how annoying that could be? And I understand, and I guess this is, this is technically a flaw, because if you try to, if you take away the bottomless pits, the final boss is a freaking joke. Make it a slightly, you can make it more difficult without implementing instant death. But no, instant death is what we got. Anyway, as the credits roll, I'm tired. <sighs> I hope everybody enjoyed the stream playthrough of the Shovel Knight. It will be up on my YouTube channel eventually. Don't know when, but eventually. Still just tired. In all reality, final boss takes so much out, so much out of you. It's not even really funny. Next time I stream, I don't know what I'm gonna be playing. I don't have any inclination. So close to 100%, so very close. <sighs> okay, so, like I was saying, don't know what I will be playing next, because doing any 3D game as of yet for stream is not going to work exactly. I mean, I could up the bitrate easily. The only reason I have the bitrate lower is because I read somewhere for non-membered. And oh look, she survived. Can't end on a downer, now can we? Um, But I read somewhere that for non, you know... Partnered streamers, it is not worth going over a certain bit rate because you know things just don't work. But to do any high-paced 3D games, I have to go over that certain bit rate. I'll look through basically like I've already stated this, but I'm basically going back through with the stream plays. I'm going back through the old games that I played. Originally, back when I had a crappy mic, so I can have a better quality playthrough of the game. Kind of a, almost if you want to look at it, a before and after type of playthrough. This is what I, this is how it was the first time, now this is the second time. See the improvement? Hopefully, because it's been about a year and a half to two years since I last played this game. There better be some improvement in my quality of my vocal quality not even just the quality of sound but how effortlessly i talk through things in comparison i'm not saying i'm like the most fluid person talking ever because that's not the case i've not been doing this nearly long enough to do that and to be that but what i'm hoping is that i've improved a, a decent amount since i started I mean, two years is a long time for this type of stuff. Anyway, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. If you did, please check out my channel. It's J Lazarus Gaming on YouTube. Please follow the Twitter because with that, you will be able to see when I upload and when I start streaming. I will be trying to stream every Wednesday and Saturday. 
It's easier for me to stream late, but you never know. I might get bored one day and sh just randomly decide to stream on a Thursday or a Friday, which might not ever do that because that's the popular day. But, yeah, so that's a good reason to follow that Twitter. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the playthrough, and I will see you guys next time.